and just walk. Um, so today's video is about canned bearded dragon's bite. Um, so it's gonna be quick. I'm gonna split up into two videos. I mean, into two sections for this video. First section is gonna be like just normal bearded dragons that you get from like the store, or, like reptops, expos. His nails need to be cut also because they're scratching. Up. Okay, okay, okay. Well, he's right there, and now he's on my hair. But, um, so the first one is, like, just regular beer dragon that you get from the store. Like, I don't recommend getting them from the pet store. They're, the pet store is, like, Petco. That's a whole other topic, but I don't recommend getting them. And those are just not kept well. They come with a lot of diseases and can be sick, and they're not kept well. But I got judo from um, a reptile expo. I think it was, like, Repticon near me. Um, that we went to, and so I'm just going to show you and like tell you this video is going to be very short why Beard Giants can't bite. Hopefully, Jurita will co um, cooperate because I do need to show you. So, one reason is many people think Beard Dragons can bite because they do have some teeth. I'm not going to open his mouth, but if it focuses, you pro maybe can see his teeth. They are really sharp, obviously, because he is um, an omnivore. He eats plants and bugs. Um, but for the most part, bearded dragons, they just use that to um, be able to chew and not bite people. So I, what I mean is bearded dragons don't bite people because, look, they're pretty docile. They're not going to harm people. Look, he's just going to climb, sit on my hand. I can stick my finger right here. He might, what, also what I feel like is, um, this video isn't like in pointers, so sorry if it's a little rambled on, but like usual, my usual videos, I feel like people think, oh, and this kind of goes for snakes too, um, but like, oh, my bear dragon's gonna bite me, because it's opening its mouth. Just because it opens its mouth, um, does not mean he's gonna bite you. Um, one way bear dragons smell, kind of like snakes, um, is they open their mouth and they stick out their tongue. That is how they smell and taste and like get a sense of where they are. That's one way they like know, hey, this is me, like I'm like that. It's that's how they smell and taste sort of. They all they do have nostrils, but that's how it's another research they use. Um so they'll stick that out to smell where he's at and stuff. And um and sometimes that will kind of freak people because they're like, oh, he's sticking out his tongue. They're, um, they're sticking out their, you're stuck on my shirt. I know you are. Um, so that's one way. Um, another way is when they're basking on their basking light, they can sometimes open up their, um, mouths. And people may think that's because, oh, aggression, they're about to pounce at me, they're about to bite. Um, when they open their mouths, number one, this could be a, it's not a bad sign because my bear dragon does this too and is he is perfectly fine, but if you're not educated, it could be a bad sign. This is like how they paint, like dogs do. Um, so, when, oh, do not fall there, buddy. He just about, like, he let go. Um, so, they'll open their mouth. Um, he's not going to do it right now, but, and they'll open it and they'll stick out, they won't stick out their tongue. They'll just open their mouth, and it's basically one way of them getting out their body heat. So, that's... Basically, they, they are not going to bite. Now, if you see one of those wild dragons, which in the wild, like if you would go to Africa, don't obviously run up near to it because that obviously, or if like you live in Florida, I don't think there's wild beard dragons in Florida. Don't, um, because I know they don't live there, but I do know like um, iguanas have been released there and they're invasive species there in Florida, so I don't think so, but lizards among the sorts of bearded dragons, if you see them wild, don't run up to them, unless you're an educated person, and also I believe in Florida, if you run up to an iguana, you may have to um, kill it and euthanize it, I think that's what it's called, um, I can't say that word, um, but because they are invasive species, but just don't run up to a wild Beard, even if you think, even if it's like, so my grandma lives, um, 
has like one of her neighbors has two beer dragons and right before I got them she found this out like right before I got Drita she found that out and she wanted to like learn more I guess like oh ask them and so she went over and she like touched their beer dragon well I don't think she touched them but she took a video of them and stuff and like kind of just saw them just to saw see like I would know and help me with my research but if you see someone's beer dragon out in their yard just minding their own business don't run up to it because it's even if you know beer dragons are nice that doesn't mean if they don't know you they're gonna hurt you now 99.99% of the time if you ask a person um to pet their not I don't want to say pet because I feel like you don't pet a reptile like that's a mammal thing but I guess you do he, I'm letting him go but like I was saying, it kind of goes with dogs. I've always been taught that you ask when you walk up to someone's dog. Just because 99% of dogs are nice. and um, But some can be a little aggressive. So you, when you see another person's dog, you walk up to them and you ask for that do to pet that dog. Same goes with beer dragons. If you see someone else, like even in the store, because I know some stores you can bring reptiles and they're holding one. Or you ask. Don't just run up to it and pet it because it could possibly have that so I don't think overall beer dragons he's never bitten me and I've had him for a total of two years and I've raised him from baby to adult so not like babies are any different so overall not gonna bite you I mean if you're pulling if you're I don't know I, he's I'm like pet him I give him bearded shark and he's just a little irritated I think it's because he was shedding on his mouth and he was trying to itch that off today in his cage and I think that might be irritating him a little bit but I've got most of it off I'm about to give him a bath to get the rest of it off um but I think that's really it they're not gonna bite you I mean I can hold him touch him he's not now for the second part of this video for rescued beer dragons. Now, Dorito, like I said, I got from Reptile Expo, so he obviously came from some type of breeder. I have the card somewhere, but, um, so he wasn't really a rescue. Um, now I feel like I don't want to say this, but I feel like Pet Smarts can be rescued animals because Pet Smart, I believe, does not take very good well care of their animals. And sorry if I'm not looking at the lens, I'm just scratching Dorito's beard right now just to try to calm him down. But, like I was saying, I feel like a pet smart could be a rescue, but for those like situations where you get them from a ne neglected home or someone that doesn't take good care of them, those, if they were like handled with pro um, not proper their care, they could be more on the aggressive side or even just the timid side where they don't want bearded scratches like Drito is getting right now um, or will just not sit on your lap or something like that. Um, so... What I mean is, I don't think they're going to bite you necessarily. Also, for rescued, I feel like, personally, I would not get them for your first bearded dragon. So, Drudo is from Reptox, but I would say try to stick for your first one after you do your research to get one from Reptox. But now, there's like some special case where you get a rescued one. As long as you did your research, that's perfectly fine. But I feel like, personally, I would not want to get a rescued one because even though I did my research... I'm not 100% there yet. Like, I'm not experienced in it. And with those cases where a bearded dragon could have um, metabolic disease or um, anything um, along that line where, like, parasites, something like that, it is special cases. I personally would not want them for my first animal. So if you are a first time bearded dragon owner, then you probably have a guarantee of not getting an aggressive bearded dragon. Um, also for biting, um, so that's really it for rescued pets. They could. Now for just on the line of aggressions, I'm going to go just over a couple things real quick and then this video will be done. Now, biting does not happen in bearded dragons, but some aggression, other things like the bearded dragon signs of bearded dragons being aggressive could be black beards. Now, this could be just being mating. He does this in his cage sometimes, especially during the summer when it's mating season, and he does this since he's a male. Males will oftentimes do this even during the winter. He does this a lot and bobs his head. And those are two signs of like aggressive signs. Now, if you're a first 
um, owner of a bearded dragon, I would say do your research because tons of things, just like symptoms like a temperature running at a high temperature and a person can mean different million, like millions of signs, even like of sickness, whether it's just you're hot and sweaty at the moment or and you just need to like cool down and then recheck your temperature or if it's something around the lines of sickness, flu, cold, like runny nose, sim it's a long, along the lines of that. But overall beer giants are pretty nice. He's and there he went. They are very clumsy as you can see. Um so I guess I'll just end this video. I mean I know I wanted I looked up some things on YouTube to try to talk about. So if y'all have any actual like things you want to talk about about breeder dragons, feel free to comment down them down below. I was just trying to get some ideas and I saw one about breeder dragons. Um can they bite? I saw like five videos. I didn't really scroll down and like some were like, yes they can and like, I didn't really watch the videos, I just looked at the thumbnail, so you never know what that could mean, but um, I did see some more like, uh, personally I feel like they can't, I mean look how lovable they are, I mean if you treat them wrong, any animal can bite, it's it's an animal, I mean if, if someone treats me right, I might, you know, it just comes with treating them right, taking care of them, being nice, not throwing them around the room, or pulling on their tail or something, Overall, beer dragons will not. Ow! Well, they're gonna. They will scratch you, though, in point of all my arms. Because. Yeah. So, without further ado, um, beer dragons do not bite um, you 99% of the time. But, I guess I'll just wrap this video up here. Um, my Instagram is linked down below, and I hope you liked it. Please like this video and subscribe if you would like. Any comments are welcome down below on video ideas. If you need help, if you have, if you just want to say hi, anything. Um, but without further ado, Gina, we want to say bye. Bye.